it's time to set Charlie, my common snapping turtle, up for his winter enclosure. In this case, a 50 gallon tub. This will work for now. Uh, it's This is temporary. Soon he will be getting a much larger enclosure as he needs it. But something that I found that he really enjoyed while he was outside in this tub is his rock basking platform and dual cave. He really loves that structure. And he's been in a 20 gallon enclosure for a bit ever since I brought him inside because it's cold outside now. It's, it's October in Pennsylvania. So I decided to bring him inside. He would more likely be just fine outside, but I want to keep him inside. He likes the warm. So there is his platform. You've seen it before if you've seen other videos of Charlie. And it's fairly sturdy. Uh, he's still little, so I don't worry too much about him tipping it over. And now it's time for the arduous task of filling this. I had to run up and down a flight of stairs so many times to fill this, but it's not terrible. I got, I got a good workout in. <laughs> now it's time to set up his UVB and his heat lamp. I set them both. I heat, set the heat lamp up over his uh, basking platform, and I set the UVB up over the water. I will be getting a better UVB in soon. It is in the mail. It's on the way. But this is what I've used so far, and it worked last year, so it shouldn't be terrible this year. Now it's time to add in his filter. When he was outside, I didn't give him a filter. I just did regular water changes. Uh, and that worked pretty well for the most part. Uh, but since he's inside now and I don't really feel like doing such a massive water change over the winter, uh, this filter has been wonderful for him. Uh, it works really well and it's suitable for current needs. It's a simple enclosure. It certainly could be much better. He could have a sandy substrate bottom, but it's fine. Now to add in his rocks. He likes to push the rocks around and they also help wear down his claws. There he is, the little man. He does not like to be held. Hey, there you go. Hey, it's a good boy. Oh, you stop. You stop it. No, stop it. Oh, you're okay. Go in the water. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. There you go. Yeah. Now you got a bit more room. Good boy. Peek. Hey. Hey, good boy. Such a good boy. Now, I do not recommend getting just going out and getting a snapping turtle willy nilly. <laughs> um, they are a, a lot of work. The initial, the enclosure itself at this size is not terrible. Um, but they do need big water changes. They are somewhat dangerous. They can really cause a good bite, even at this size. Um, there are much better pet turtles for most people. You're okay, buddy. But, oh, we stop. <laughs> but they are not the greatest. Uh, they can be worked with and socialized. He is a work in progress. Okay. But their claws are sharp. Uh, that's why I have things in there to file his claws down with. But, hi. And they are also somewhat expensive to feed. Uh, you can feed them um, fresh veggies and meat. Uh, he likes turtle pellets, so I stock up on those for him. He really likes his turtle pellets. But they are... Oh, stop. But they are expensive to feed. They will get expensive to house. This 50-gallon tub cost me 20 bucks. 
So, but eventually he will need a big pond and I am preparing for that, but he, they're not terrible. Uh, oh, <laughs> he did not like his belly rubbed, <laughs> but you're okay, buddy. They are not the, not the most friendly thing normally. Uh, they can be though. He's in that weird space. I spoke with other keepers, don't you dare. Uh, I spoke with other keepers and they said that this is normal. <laughs> they do get a little sassy uh, after about a year and eventually they should calm down. But he is, uh, he's a grumpy little man right now. He, hi, hello. Oh, he say hi to the camera, take care. Nope, the camera, your butt. There you go. Yeah, he they're not the they're not the safest pet turtle, I'll, I'll say that. But they are honestly a joy to work with. If you get a snapping turtle, they uh, stop. They are a joy to work with. When they're in the enclosure, uh, they are very interactive, even if they're like him. Uh, they're always checking everything out, especially if you have them in a glass enclosure. They're watching everybody walk by, but you're okay. But handling them is not difficult. Uh, if you watch uh, Clint's Reptiles, uh, link in the card here, uh, they can be handled somewhat safely if you handle them from the back. Uh, don't pick them up by the tail. Uh, don't you dare. <laughs> they are quite strong at this size too. Um, if you handle them from the back or the bottom, uh, they can't get you. Uh, at this size, I just hold them from, from behind. Uh, but eventually when he gets older, I will place a hand underneath his belly and hold and stabilize him with the tail. Clint does a whole video on this. It, uh, go watch his video. Uh, but these guys, hi. Are you being, a, are you done? No, you're not done. <laughs> uh, they can be very interesting pets. I'll say that. Uh, I'm gonna put him back. He's done. he's all done. All right, here you go. Go back in your water. Oh, stop it. They're they're not the best pets for most people, but for a professional or somebody who's really interested in reptiles, these guys are great. Um, it is if you can get one from a captive, uh, one that's been captive bred from a reputable breeder. They should do wonderfully for you. They're very hardy. They're nearly bulletproof as far as how hardy they are. Uh, they're absolutely wonderful. Uh, yeah, I, I, I love snapping turtles. Common snapping turtles are one of my favorite of our native species we have here in Pennsylvania. Uh, here in Pennsylvania though, you do need a license to keep them. I have a license to keep them, uh, but hi. <laughs> He's just poking his head up at me. Uh, but they are some of the coolest reptiles we have here in Pennsylvania. It's an honor to be able to keep him and work with him. And now he's going back in his hide. Uh, but do at least do a ton of research, more than this video, more than my other snapping turtle vi uh, care videos. They can be a bit of a cantankerous. Uh, you can work with them to get them chilled out, like I said, but he's a bit of a firecracker right now. But they're not that bad. As I've said before, common snapping turtles will eat a variety of foodstuffs. Uh, Charlie eats his pellets, his shrimp, his crickets, and as you see here, he's taking on his salmon. They do love a variety of fish. Salmon is a good option. Tilapia is also a good option. Uh, what you need to do is make sure you don't feed them fish that has thymonase, as that breaks down thymine, which they need. In any case, thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like to see more of Charlie, uh, please do consider subscribing and leave a comment on this video. Leave a like and do all the YouTube stuff and I will see you all next time. And you might see Charlie again. He's such a good boy.